Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join me today for this new casserole I created last week. I am so excited to share this recipe. It is a cheesy broccoli rice casserole. I did a meal prep a few days ago where I made a batch of my vegan potato cheese sauce and also just a simple batch of brown rice. And my intention was that I was gonna mix those two together with some cooked broccoli and make an awesome casserole. And I did. <laughs> I was so happy with how this recipe turned out on my first attempt. I have decided the only way I can improve it is if I actually make it a complete 50-50 meal for if you're following Dr. McDougall's maximum weight loss. So half of the casserole is going to be starch based with the potato cheese and the brown rice and the other half of the casserole will be non-starchy filled with broccoli and riced cauliflower. I still have brown rice and potato cheese left over from my meal prep last week, so the only thing I had to prepare today was the cauliflower and the broccoli. So I steamed some broccoli on the stove and I steamed a bag of frozen riced cauliflower in the microwave. So I'm going to give those just another minute to cool while I mix up the topping for this casserole. So this has been my favorite topping for any type of casserole I've made all winter long. I feel like it goes with anything. I do a combination of these chickpea breadcrumbs along with panko breadcrumbs. And then I use either garlic powder or most recently I've been using this minced garlic. So I don't really measure anything out for the topping. I just do like half and half of each of the breadcrumbs, add some of the garlic, and then I usually put it in a little Pyrex container. So if I make too much, I just put a lid on it and save it for next time. Because it's casserole season. There will be a next time. <laughs> Before I start measuring out my ingredients, I'm going to go preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to start with measuring out one cup of rice and two cups of potato cheese. One cup of cooked brown rice. Two cups of potato cheese. And now I'm gonna do three cups of broccoli and cauliflower. So let's see how much broccoli we got. And I just steamed the broccoli really well so that it just breaks up and breaks apart when I mixed it in with the rest of the casserole. I've tried putting uncooked broccoli in casseroles before, like my cheesy hash brown casserole, and it didn't cook. So I think I'm gonna top this off with some of the cauliflower. So there's two cups of veg, and one more cup of cauliflower. One more cup of cauliflower. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off this bag of cauliflower. There is the teeniest little corner here. I bet it's like a quarter cup. Yeah, that's like a third or maybe a half a cup. We're just gonna add it. All right, let's mix her up. I think this looks perfect. This looks so delicious. Yum. Can you see how 
delicious this looks. OMG. Let's add the topping. Whoops. And there it is with the topping. Yum. So I mentioned my oven is preheating to 400. I'm gonna go cook this for 30 minutes. Ta-da! Fresh out of the oven. So the last time I cooked this recipe, I was cooking it in my little mini loaf pans. This is my first time doing a big batch and I think it turned out perfectly. It smells so good. Those garlic granules in the topping just. All right, I've given this a few minutes to cool. So now let's slice out a piece. Oh yeah. I think that once this cools, it will be, it'll slice out like really nice pieces. There's a close up of my masterpiece. How delicious. Yum. Mm. There's where I cut out my piece. See what I mean? I think that I'll make really nice slices when it's cooled. It's still warm. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Be well. And now I think I figured out a way, to, which I did. So I am going to use that. Did I say I used garlic powder? I think I did. I'm gonna go preheat my un- That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do, Elisha.